Okay, here we go with the 45s. They got the uh, the new fangled design on there with the with the uh, pliers. I lost one of my damn cross pins, so uh, I'll be fumbling around with it too. So bear with me. I don't know if you can see it. That's an actually good shape bullet. I did get some screwed up edge on, on the top here, but I can live with that for now. That's the first one. I'll do as many as I can with this one and then I'll move on to the next mold. You know what, I think I'm just gonna use, use the channel locks to hold them together. I can move a little faster that way. This seemed like a good idea at the time, but uh, and it actually is. But I appear to be able to move at a quicker rate doing it this way. I knew the 45 would come out good because uh, the last time I, I uh, printed a mold for the 45s, they also came out good and they got minimal to no uh, no kind of visible erosion or anything like that so I'm optimistic about it ah damn it I, I shouldn't have said that I just put the freaking whammy on myself look at the see the base on that how it sticks up I didn't have this pressed down firmly onto the top of the mold so uh, but anyways this will be the last of the cast that I do this is the 45 the newest the latest 45 it's a flat sided um, uh, I wanted to show you how I've been heating them on the heat plate I didn't want to place them directly on the heat plate because in the past I've noticed when I do that the surfaces that touch the heat plate start to crack like they develop those same striations that I showed you on the inside of the mold cavities when they're subjected to intense heat. Uh, I, I didn't place it directly on there. These were the old alignment pins that I was using if you remember. Well I used those to space my mold up from the, the heating plate by that amount. It's like an eighth of an inch up above it and that seems to be doing well because the, there's no damage done to the underside of my mold anything like that. So uh, this will be the last 15 that I do out of the, the latest 45 caliber flat sided single cavity mold. Um, hold on a second, put my gloves on. My other camera took a dump on me so I'm on my, my everyday carry cell phone. Hopefully it'll hold up for a while longer because I'm just about done here. I think I've proven my point. Come on, come on, come on. Man. Oh, hell, that was harder than it had to be. Oh, it was worth it, though. That appears to be a good bullet. I'm looking real close to it. I don't know if it's a shadow on the highlight, but it appears to have maybe a slight void just below the top of the base of the bullet. But um, if I can size that out with my sizing die, it won't make any difference in the world. Okay, one second. If this camera runs out of memory, I'm going to switch over to or turn it off and then switch over to my other camera. Hopefully by then it'll be charged up. But that one's just about out of memory too, so may not make any difference. What the hell? Well, I know that one's gonna come up screwed up.
Yep. I didn't fill it out. I mean, most of that lead fell off the side of the off the side of the ladle. Well, that was crap. I had to make separate hollow point pins for each mold because uh, one was longer than the other one. And uh, I thought if I wrapped some duct tape around the underside of the one, it would be enough, but apparently it was not. So uh, the mouths of the hollow points may not look perfect on these, but I don't really care. I just want them to print or to cast well. Trying to hold it up to the light just just right so you can that filled out well looks good on the sides the walls look good nice surface finish that's number two 12 more to go if my camera craps out like i said hold on I tried to get the lids to hug the, the top of the uh, mold a little tighter this time and uh, they're working well but when it heats up it expands which causes it to get sticky that's why you see me fumbling around here and it doesn't help to have these thick ass gloves coming up the works either That's a good bullet right there. That's number three. Oh, what am I doing? Another good bullet. That's number four. Well, if I can get up to a 15 like the other one before I start seeing signs of damage, I'll be a happy camper. trying to line up my lines so that the screw hole opening aligns with the center of the base of the bullet. I am discovering that uh, I have another weak point in the form of super thin edges and that's the bottom of the mouth where it tapers down, it creates a sharp edge at the bottom. Um, 
that's proving to be another weak point. So it's possible that uh, that's something else I'll have to address later on down the road. doesn't have to drop them on those jagged edges. That's a good bullet right there. I can see the slightest hint of striations, but um, yeah, just the slightest hint on the cavities too. The good thing about that is right now, oh, this one here has a slight, slight hairline crack right there. Very slight. But it's still at the stage where when I run it through my sizing die, It'll just shave those off, and you know, I mean, I don't know if it's shaving off is the right word, but it'll smooth that off to where it's perfectly uh, cylindrical. Damn it! Wrong way. It's funny how from one mold to the other. Same resin, same print process, same everything. I tend to get only slightly different results out of each one. And by results, I mean by the number of prints I'll get before I start seeing some kind of sign of damage. I wonder sometimes if those companies that, that make bullet molds are threatened by something like this. I mean, I don't know why they would be. I mean, when, in terms of rapid prototyping, imagine the time you could save by printing up some bullet molds and testing any new bullet design your guys might come up with. It'd take like half the time, I think less than that, that setting up your your mill and, and your everything that it takes to do that to actually make one and find out that it didn't work so you do it again and again and again after after a while it adds up so uh, possibly this might be a quicker more efficient way of testing your new designs Man, this lid is just way too tight. I'm gonna have to switch over to one of the other lids just to save myself some time. Come up there. On the bright side, the, the base has all come up pretty damn nice. That's a good bullet right there. I mean, I, unless you were here looking at it with your own eyes, it's it's hard for folks to actually see what 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 I'm getting here. I'm going to keep going up to 15 and I'll be back.